अग्निम समासाध्य देह पुनरायाति भूतले स्पृष्ट्वा तपो निमात्मा नान्यत शुद्धि मरहति तुम ये तस्वीर भी अपने साथ ले जा रही हो ये तो मुझे बेहद पसंद है नाशाद आपके पास ढेर सारी और हैं। ना तुम होगी ना तुम्हारी तस्वीर किसके सहारे जीऊंगा मैं जाओ ही मत ना लीला ऐसा मत कहो नाशाद हमेशा के लिए थोड़ी ना चाह रही हूँ खत लिखोगी ना हर रोज और आप मैं मैं तुम्हारे लिए नजम लिखूंगा हर रोज एक Jump, bro. Yo, he ain't white. Hey, Chip, you got the goods, man. CSS 122 introduction to computers, PED 200, Phys Ed 2, LAS 118, Judaic studies, LAS 211 studies on world cultures. And these are all charades. If this guy spends half as much time in class as he does researching them. What was that last one? LAS to what? To eleven. It's a class about world cultures taught by visiting professors from South countries. What South countries? The third world is now known as the Global South. That'll be a cool class for us to check out together. Oh, I'm not taking it. The hell, you're not, man. You're a definite A candidate. Shit, you're in from the <laughs> South. Yeah, the Southern burbs. That's our first Southeast from. Let's go, man. Hey, let's go get a beer. I can't. Mom's home. That's why you don't get laid, Gandhi. You know that? 
How long do you plan on remaining a virgin anyway? <laughs> He's doing his best. And how long do you plan on living with your old lady? Gosh damn, back on the streets, they're trying to catch hey, you know what? Looks like they're trying to use my speed to fix me. I'm serious. To work till I'm empty like a car and see spitting game for free. But now I'm making moves like the number 23. And soon enough I'll be seeing a plenty of things just a matter of time before I take my Krishna, food is ready. Boy. Krishna, don't read at the table. And don't eat so quickly. You know your grandfather says you should chew once for every tooth. That is 32 times. Grandpa wears dentures, Mom. You're always making fun of him. I'm only kidding, Mom. You know I love the man. You know, Krishna, he's ill. I got a letter from my brother. Are you going there? And leave you to survive on pizza and ice cream? Well, did you know that the average pepperoni pizza has all the four food groups? Besides, what if I was living on my own? How about I get my own apartment? You know we can't afford it. Get a job. Or ask your father. Hey, listen, will you come to India with me? Mom, you know I wouldn't survive another trip there. I, I almost died last time. You did not. That was just a bad case of Delhi Belly. Mom, Mom. And that was 10 years ago. Mom! What do you want done this weekend? Delvi, right? I'm Chet Ali, Associate Professor of History. Hi, I'm from Bombay University. I know, the whole department's been a buzz about you. You know, I went to Bombay University myself. Harman tells me Dr. Nene is still there. He was my advisor. Of course he's still there. He's the head now. Wow. I have to get all the news from you. Listen, I was going to grab some lunch. Do you want to come with me? Actually, the department chair has asked me to meet him for lunch. All right. So I'll catch up with you later then. Bye. Bye. Hey. Ready for lunch? Yeah. Uh, who was that? Miss Delvi. She's a visiting professor from Bombay. So I'm sitting there wondering why I can't understand anything. It was all intelligent stuff, man. That smart shit. Jess Jessica, she was yeah. there. I took one look at her. I knew I was in the wrong class. <laughs> Fast, Chris, oh, you oh. told me semiotics was an easy A. It is. Yeah, for you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Miss Leela Dehilvi. This is LAS 211. Studies in world culture class. If this That's university her. is done anything you like Musa? Bombay University, the one in the toga. To sorry, Einstein. Even you aren't that stupid. I'd like to make a request, if I may. I prefer you to call me Miss Dehelvi, please. I'm aware that you refer to your professors by their first name here. Please, humor me. See, no, bro. You didn't take the class because of Miss Dehelvi. You took the class to imbibe the cultures of South countries. No, it's just mom's getting it. South Asians against nuclear explosions. Same. Pretty cool, huh? I thought of the name. Actually, it's S-A-A-N-E. Isn't that Sane? Yeah, but Sane just sounds more sane. Anyway, we're protesting the nuclear arms stockpiling in South Asia. We'll see you there. Thanks. Chris, we have to show solidarity with all rational people against these maniacs with their fingers on nuclear triggers. South Asia is a flashpoint. South Asia? Look, Mira. When you have an issue that has anything to do with North America, I'll be the first to buy a t-shirt, okay? You know, it's a shame, Chris, that my white bread roommate probably knows more about South Asia than you. Ooh. Wait, I, I do too know about South Asia. Uh, Gandhi. <laughs> I don't know why I bother. And you should care too. Reverend Martin Luther King got his ideas of nonviolent civil disobedience from Gandhi. 
Yeah, because the guy didn't know that. Mira, these are for you. Not now, Shantanu. Uh, but I plucked them especially for you. Pluck them? Living flowers? How dare you! Don't you have an ecological bone in your body? Check out Lover Boy. Hey, son. What chicken? What's up, Dad? I was just telling your mother. Cricket is the ultimate character building game. Teaches you discipline. And patience. The game goes on for five days. Not anymore. You want some tea? Chris, you should get into cricket. Jay, how many times have I told you his name is Krishna? Don't they make trousers your size anymore? What the hell is Dad doing here? What kind of language is that? Sorry. What the heck is Dad doing here? He came to apologize for the party, and Krishna, he is your father. Yeah, when he has the time. Where's, uh, where's Jennifer? Your father and Jennifer have this arrangement where they're going to spend two days a week away from each other. <laughs> I don't blame her. Well, he says he's going to be over more often now. And um, he wants to take you out tonight. I've got plans. Krishna, you should go. He is your father, you know. Mom, you're repeating yourself. <sighs> Krishna, you are going out with him for dinner tonight. No two ways about that, okay? All these countries share a common culture and heritage. For example, some of the music, besides straddling cultures, also transcends religion. Mm, like Sufi music. That's a good example. Where is Sufi music from? Pakistan. And mm. also India and Bangladesh, right? Yes. Actually, the Bhakti movement that evolved in India predates the Sufis. Yes, that's true. But what is important to remember is that Qawwali is spiritual and not a religious tradition. Well, but Miss Delavi, Qawwali, is derived from I'm just so tired of, the of him. Of I don't Somebody know why Miss Delavi suffers him. He's such an idiot. Oh, you don't like him? Don't break his Those heart. From various sources. Mira, yeah. if you ever need to know anything about this class, you should ask me. Oh. So, dude, we got a regular Alex Trebek here. What is Pakistan? Yeah, <laughs> genius. <laughs> hey, man, she really digs you, man. Did you see the way she asked you in class? Do you know the answer, Krishna? She wants your goods, Gandhi. You're the same kind. She totally <laughs> digs you, bro. Shut the yeah. fuck up, you moron. All right. तुम्हारे खतों से अंदाजा होता है कि अमेरिका की आबो हवा तुम्हें रास आ रही है. लेकिन यहाँ तुम्हारे चाहने वाले बेकरार हैं. हामिद को ही ले लो. तकरीबन हर रोज तुम्हारी वापसी के बारे में पूछता है. कल ही काली प्रसाद भी आया था. बेकरारी के आलम में घंटे भर इधर उधर टहलता रहा तुम्हारे चाहने वाले I'm setting you up, man. You can't do it. Yes, I can. Really? Amy Schmamy. Oh. Oh, what about Lena? Yeah, right. Okay. We can even get closer. <laughs> we'll do. Guys. <laughs> 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 Stuff. You know, Gandhi, you need a lot of help. Oh yeah? I can I can do it on my own. Thank you. You wanna make this a little interesting, Gandhi? Alright. 
I give it to the end of semester. How's about Halloween? How's about, how's about the end of the month, huh? Look, fuck you guys, look. I'm gonna sleep with Leah by the end of the month. <laughs> I think I'm drunk. Oh, mom is gonna kick my ass. Discussion that by? Yeah, for want of a better name, of course. We got tired of, you know, going to the same parties, the same Indian conversations, all that. Of course I'll come. What do you discuss? Things of importance to us. The expatriate lifestyle, our culture, and how we can imbue that in our children. I'm shocked at what my nieces and nephews back home wear and how they behave. Is that how we want our children to turn out? Do you really believe that just by wearing Indian clothes we become Indian? Exactly. If our children were growing up back in India, I think our children might have turned up like God's nieces and nephews. But is that good? See, good and bad, right and wrong, is dependent on your worldview. And that worldview is shaped by the morality we left home with. Krishna? Krishna, can you get the door, please? Krishna? All right, Mom, I heard you. Hold this thought. Hi. Hi. Krishna, who is it? Leela. Hi, Welcome. Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Leela, this is my son, Krishna. Chris is in my class. Really? Aren't you going to join us? No. Oh, I'm so glad he's taking your class. Come on in. Okay, everyone, this is Leela Delvi, visiting professor from Bombay University. Hello. Come. Aha! If it isn't Don Juan himself. Day two, the champ looks stronger. His strength is returning. Hey, Jamal, can't you see that Chris can handle this himself? So would you uh, find under seducing your professor on the internet, bud? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gandhi. Seduction 101. Now, it's all right here. Most guys get killed because they think that women don't want none, right? I mean, the first time you think that you're the only one in the ball game who wants to score, You've lost. Look, JC, I got my strategy all planned out. We strongly condemn the recent nuclear tests in South Asia. The aggressive jingoism unleashed by it and the insecurity caused by it in the region. It is shameful that we should celebrate an achievement that announces to the world that we are now capable of killing millions of people. Hey. Chris, you've got a pleasant surprise. Well, we have to show solidarity with sane and rational people against maniacs with their fingers on nuclear triggers. Where the heck did you find that? I got it from the back of your closet. It's, it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Can you breathe? <laughs> I'll get it. Thank you. I have decided to learn something from all of you about this vast and beautiful country that is here. No, no, no. no. Yeah, you big like this. I wonder if it's a daydream. I found sunny days and radios. Welcome to all the What about me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're my turn. Here we are. I can't.
can't believe we have so many common friends. And we've never met. <laughs> you know, this bit about India's population being one billion is all crap. I think there are exactly 97 Indians and they all know each other. <laughs> What happened? Or would you rather not talk about it? Oh, it's fine. I have no problems. I'm a postmodern woman and I do as I please. <laughs> Jay wanted a wife, but I think what he really needed was a servant who could cook like his mother. <laughs> God, I haven't analyzed this in years now, but I think what really happened was that I became too independent for him and he just couldn't handle that. So? So I threw him out. No, 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 man. Where did that guy learn? Thanks for the trip to the grocery store. You're getting really addicted to them, huh? Would you like some tea? Uh, sure. You know, this can be your Guru Dakshina. Guru Dakshina? The payment a student makes for the knowledge imparted by the teacher. A lot like tuition. <laughs> yes. But a little more complicated. Let me tell you a story. There was this great teacher who schooled all the princes in the art of war. In particular, one of his students was his favorite. Now, unknown to this great teacher, there was another young boy, a hunter's son, who was a fan of his. When the hunter's son realized that he could never be the great teacher's student, he built a statue of the great teacher in the forest and practiced his archery under the stone eye of the statue. He practiced and he practiced till he became very adept. And all along, he considered the great teacher his guru. Would you like to sit outside? Sure. One day, the great master was walking past the hunter's cottage and the dog started barking incessantly. Suddenly, a volley of arrows came out of nowhere and filled the dog's mouth. Wow, nailed the sucker, huh? <laughs> Excuse me? He killed the dog. <laughs> no, the dog wasn't hurt. The great master heard the young boy's story, saw his own statue in the clearing. But what disturbed him was that there was another boy who was better than his favorite student. So what did he do? He asked the young boy for Guru Dakshin. Uh, the, the tuition thing. <laughs> Do you know what the great master asked him for? He asked the young boy for his thumb. Why? Why the thumb? So that the young boy would never be able to shoot another arrow again. Then the young boy took out his knife, chopped his thumb, and presented it to the great master. That's so cold. I mean, this kid just gives up everything that he worked towards for so long. The guru is greater than God, they say in our scriptures. Because the knowledge a guru provides brings you to God. Now that you're completely relaxed, I want you to start counting your breath. If your mind wanders, let it. But slowly bring it back to your breathing again. The sound you're making is a link between the material and the spiritual worlds.
I know that only women are allowed to the Sangeet, and <laughs> anyways, I, I haven't been the nicest you to you. You can't come in, Chris. No, listen. No, you listen, you creep. Even if you hadn't... I don't know, Chip. I don't like this bed anymore. Are right, you losers ready to get smoked? Hey, Jamal, hold this. Hey, KC, Chris was... I've been thinking uh, about this bet. You bitching out on me? You know what they say about older women, pal. <laughs> Shit. Hey, man, if he doesn't want to do yeah, it... Yeah, uh, she's just too nice, guys. Sure, bro. You call it, man. Same teams, me and Chris. Miss Bombay. Mm -hmm. You know what I really envy about you guys living in India? Cheap labor. You eat, the dishes disappear, clean themselves out, and reappear sparkling new. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I do a lot of the housework myself. Really? Mm. My husband works out of home, so. What does he do? He, he's a poet. Really? Mm -hmm. His name is Riday. Dehelvi. Mm. Riday Dehelvi. Wait a minute. You <laughs> are married to Nashad? Oh my God, I love his voice. Sorry, I'm gushing. At Don't worry. It happens all the time. It doesn't bother me anymore. We have an open marriage. Open marriage? Um. I don't mean to pry. No, no, it's all right. Everyone knows anyway. The fact is that Nashad is... <laughs> How should I put it? He has an eye for women. <sighs> the word you're looking for is philandra, dear. Philandra. Mm. Degenerate. Mm, no. Cad. I was going to say, Jama? <laughs> sure. He has women eating out of his hands. Leave the bastard. I can't. I'm his muse. His poetry will dry up. I said, leave the bastard. He doesn't deserve you. You don't, you don't need that kind of shit. Can we not talk about this? Please? <sighs> Yeah, whatever. Man. I got it. She's all you. I got She's it. She's all you. You got it? Man? I'm not scared. No, are you this scared? I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, guy. Hey. Hey. Uh, you want?
want to go for a walk? <laughs> the only walk you should be taking is straight to bed. Th that's what I mean. You want to come? Come back when you grow up, kiddo. 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 <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I give up, Gandhi. You're just going to have to remain a virgin. Oh, you little lad! <laughs> All right, that's it. And we got a quarter. Somebody got, give me a quarter right now. No. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Easy. Ms. Delvey. Oh, not mom. Hi, yeah, it's, it's Chris. <laughs> um, listen, ab about that uh, blues club. Right, yeah, yeah. Thanks for a lovely evening. Now you've earned your good action. Um. Did you need something? Um. Uh, yeah. Can I use your restroom? And then you put the condom on, right? Yeah. And the cologne? Yeah. Did you brush your teeth? Yeah. What kind of toothpaste she use? <laughs> what is this, an inquisition? Yeah. JC, <laughs> just let him get on to the good part. Hey, if we're debriefing him, we need details. Details. Look, I don't want to play this game anymore, okay? So I did her. Hey, you ruined it, JC. I'm one of the inside scoop. Look, that is the inside scoop. Just get off my back. How was she? Great. Perfect. What are you doing here? I'm having my morning cup of coffee. Did you stay here last night? Chris, your mother and I... We... Krishna, how come you... What? Weren't you supposed to stay the night at Chips? M Mom, what the hell's going on? It's okay, honey. I was just telling Chris... Honey? Honey? Well, how, how long has this been going on for? Krishna, I... No, what, what the... Wait, so, so last week, when I spent the night at Chips, there was coffee made, but you said you would make coffee on an impulse. Yeah. Was he here that night, too? Chris, would you just sit down? His name is Krishna. He, he's here whenever I'm not here, isn't he? Okay, then, Krishna. God damn it, would you say the fuck out of this? What kind of language is that? What kind of language? Well, how do you think I feel to find out what's been going on behind my back in my own house? Well, how the hell do you think that makes me feel? We were gonna tell you. Listen to me, please. Where are you going to go? Krishna.
Now, if you go away, who's going to take care of the house? Who's going to take care of me? Bahar is one of the most beautiful rags. It's used in a lot of contemporary compositions. The pucker goes like this. Now notice that on the avara, the descending notes, the knee is coma flat. Now you try it. Jay, welcome. Does Nasreen know you're here? You want some tea? No, I'm fine. I right, will have some tea. Me and Chris were about to take a break. Chris, your mother tells me you walked out of home. Dad, can we talk about this later? By ourselves? It's okay. That's only Javed. He's known you since you were born. Chris has been extremely distracted today. Are you okay? I'm afraid I won't be able to take my civil lessons anymore. What? Hold on, Jay. What's the matter, Chris? Is that something I said? No. Listen, don't you dare walk out on me. I shall not tolerate this. Chris, I paid good money for your guitar lessons. And the deal was, you will learn Sarod as well. Chris, I will cut your allowance. Look, I don't need your money anymore, Dad, okay? Congratulations, you get to keep it. These kids have no respect. Well, one of the things I learned was to get respect, you have to give respect. Shut up and stop preaching. It's 72 degrees and sunny in downtown, and the weatherman is predicting sunshine through the weekend. So we'll have clear skies this Saturday when we take on those wildcats from Ridley. And now, back to the cool beats. How they were dealt to me and reminisce on my L.I. Fucking pisses me off, man. What? Goddamn people behind the counter, man. It took that guy hours to count my change out. And they should teach these immigrants how to count before they let them loose in America. Guy couldn't even speak English properly. Hey, Chris. What's shaking? Dad, it sounds ridiculous when you say that. Jesse, you think so too? No, Mr. Gannon, you're the man. Hey. <laughs> All right, uh, what's up, Dad? We, uh, we got things to do. I need to talk to you alone. All right. Your mother is worried about you, and she would feel a lot better if you came and stayed with me till I find you an apartment. What about you? What? But Mom will feel better if I move in with you. How about you? I'm cool. Goodbye, Dad. Chris? I would feel a lot better, too. I want you to come and stay with me. Please, son. Going well? Mm -hmm. I have to 
dad get you to move in here? Um, I was tired of the dorms anyways. I, I guess it makes mom and dad feel better too. You know how Indian parents are. Sometimes I just think how similar we both are. Well, we're both Americans trying to learn about Indians. Trying to fathom how they tick. Uh, I don't know. I mean... I I've been wrestling with that. I, I was American. I mean, that was my whole reality. I hung out with my boys. I, I saw myself in them. I, I guess I thought I was white or something. Uh, yeah. That's until JC held up a mirror to my face and I saw what he saw. What I am. I'm different. I, don't know, I, I took Miss Delvey's class because it was an easy A. Now I... I wanted to apologize. I accepted a bet to sleep with you. And, uh, and, and when that didn't happen, it was a bet. to drop the glass. Bigo. Have you spoken to your mom lately? No. She told me you walked out of home. Chris, your mom needs you. Ms. Delvey. Stay out of this. There were these two Buddhist monks on their way to a pilgrimage. On the way, they met a lame young girl who asked them for some alms. When the younger monk found out that the girl's village was on the way to the pilgrimage, he offered to carry her on his shoulders. Well, Buddhist monks are not supposed to touch women, you know. So the elder monk reported this to his elders as soon as he got back to the monastery. And? The master asked him, did the younger monk drop the girl at the village? So the monk said yes. So the master asked, then, why are you still carrying her on your shoulders? Chris. In our culture, we are taught to hate the sin, not the sinner.
ना छुपाया वो मखन चोर गया है When we're when we're by ourselves, um, you can call me Krishna. America, आने के दावत नामे रोज मिलते हैं। आइए कॉन्सर्ट में गाइए। सोचता हूँ कैसे टालूं। सुना है शायरों से फिल्मी गानों की फरमाइश करते हैं। या अल्लाह। चाहे कोई मुझे जंगली कहे, कहे दे तो जी कहता रहे। Something the matter? Oh. How's Krishna doing in your class? Is he happy? Since the time he's left home, he hasn't bothered to find out if I'm dead or alive. Those are Krishna's. He's teaching me how to play basketball. You know, in India, the festival of Navratri starts with a new moon and goes on for nine days. <laughs> it's, it's strange to see a full moon during the Garbas. Uh, do you go out dancing in Bombay? Of course I do. Navratri is the high point of autumn. Our land is so magical, Krishna. It's colorful, vibrant, like life itself. I'm homesick. Would you ever consider living here in the States? Me? No. Never. <laughs> Why not? What's wrong with America? No, don't get me wrong. It's it's been a wonderful experience and and I'm glad I came here. But no. No, I couldn't live here. Look, America has a lot to offer. Personal freedom, for example. I mean, here you see real individual freedom, Miss Delvey. Uh, a respect for the individual and her life's choices. You're judged by your abilities and, and your worth, not by the man in your life or whether you choose to stay in a bad marriage or not. 
You... You think I'm in a bad marriage? No. I, w I was thinking of Mom. Last night, I couldn't sleep. I was thinking through a lot of things and... About your marriage? You should have called me. I would have been right there. I did. Oh, hi. Is Jane? Um, he's on his way. We're going out. Oh, I really need to talk to him. Are you all right? Oh. Can I can I go to Krishna's room? Uh, sure. It's upstairs. Shaitelli, I'm not sure I'm comfortable with you going through Chris's things when he isn't here. No? I don't think that you should be going through Chris's things. Excuse me. Krishna is my son. I know, but he's also a 19-year-old entitled to his privacy. My God, look at this. A condom. My son is using condoms now. He's only 18. Shaitelli, I really don't think what you did was right. You don't, huh? Well, I've done it now. And what you think really doesn't matter now, does it? God, you're being difficult again. Again? Oh. I suppose I was difficult when you had Jay throw us out of the apartment. Or perhaps I was being difficult when I had to go to court to make him pay for child support. One check bounce, Jaitali. You know you overreacted. Ah, now we are talking about the time you stole my husband. Perhaps I was being difficult at that time, right? I think you better leave, Jaitali. You are obviously troubled and not thinking coherently. Don't be patronizing, Jennifer. Just don't fucking be patronizing. Hey, blue eyes. Oh, Jay, our son is sleeping around. He's, he's having sex. He is. Yeah, I, I think it's with his teacher, with, with Leela. Really? Jay, he's, he's only eighteen. You know, Chaitali, I'm proud of my son. And what you need to understand is, Chris is not a kid anymore. And it is not fair for you to be imposing in spaces where he would rather be by himself. You think I'm imposing? Krishna is a fine young man. And you've done a great job bringing him up. Seeing the other man in my life. Slow down, Chaitali. Perhaps you should create a situation where your men want to stay with you. Well, I better be going home now, I know. You people have plans. Jay, you should talk to Chris. Will you, Jay? Will you speak to him, please? We had to take Dad into the hospital again. Nothing to panic about. He's back home now. It's becoming quite routine, really. It would help a lot if you could come home for a bit. Just a bit, maybe. Dad keeps asking about you and Krishna. I think he misses Krishna the most. Saman, please understand. Krishna is a little screwed up. It's his dad, our messy divorce. He's wary of any man that comes into my life. He... May I take your plates, please? Yeah, thanks. What I'm trying to say is that it's not about you. But 
It is about me. It's about us. You don't need to do this. Huh. I gotta get back to work. I'll, I'll come by tonight and we'll sort it out. I think it's better that we make it clean, Summer. Please don't insist. Listen, honey, I, I don't know what's gotten into you. We've always been able to sort things out together. Summer, please don't try and change my mind. I... I'll pick this up anytime. I love you. I really do. But please respect my decision. Please. Well, I've got everything written down. It's just that this is the first time Nishith and I are doing the whole ceremony by ourselves. My parents won't even be there. I'll be there. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> Have you bought everything? Almost. What are you doing here? I want to talk to you. Well, I don't. So, uh... Well, you do yourself some good and your mother. Look, you keep my mother out of this. I can't. We can't. You might want to wish this thing away, but your mother and I, we love each other very much. Mom does not love you. Well, she broke up with me last night. It broke her heart to do so. She somehow thinks that by stifling her aspirations, her happiness, she can get you back. Well, she needs both of us. We should be the last people to make her choose. Chris, can I understand what you're going through? Believe me, I do. I just want you to think about what I said. That's, that's all I'm asking. Call me if you want to talk, okay? Now we invoke Lord Ganesha. He is the god of obstacles. Vakratunda Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvignam Kurume Deva Sarva karya shu sarvata. Now we welcome the gods and goddesses into our house. Greetings from Mount Olympus. <laughs> Why aren't you in fancy dress? <laughs> Krishna Sale, you rogue. See the way you have embarrassed me. No, 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 no ice. That face, you get more coke. Are you sure you don't want water? That's all you order at McDonald's. You hate people like me, don't you? Fresh off the boat. Hate you? Why would I hate you? You guys crack me up. I mean, always complaining about how expensive everything is compared to India. You've never been shopping with your father? Pardon me? You must be an embarrassment, no? Trying to get all the bargains. Trying to get something for free. Complaining about how expensive things are. You see, your father, when he came here, was just like me. He saved and scrimped to make it in this country, so that you could have a good life. That's why you afford to have coke with ice. That's why you people hate fresh off the boat people like me. Because I remind you of your father. Anyways, that was a good joke you played on me. Shantanu. <laughs> Mira. Listen, Shantanu, it was me. I told Chris to tell you to get dressed up. No you need see, for just... an apology, no need for an apology. I, I didn't plug them, I didn't plug them. They're only plastic. Thank you. I'll catch you next time. You okay? Is that legal, Dad? Nothing that gives a man pleasure is legal in this country. <laughs> Tell me, what's going on in your life? Like, like generally? Generally, I know you are a junior, right? Sophomore. Yeah. Right, right. That kind of good stuff. What else is going on? The, was it tough uh, when you came to the U.S.? You know, new culture and new customs and all that? It's tough for most of the immigrants. Harsh, Javed, your mother. We had a good marriage. <laughs> really? We did. Your mother makes many impulsive decisions. Some snowball into situations far beyond what she had intended. Chris, your mother wanted me to talk to you. You know, 
She lives by a different set of morals. And she thinks that... This is about Summer, right? What? Summer, Mom's boyfriend. Well, it's all right, Dad. Look, Summer, Summer talked to me. Apparently, Mom thought that if she dumped him, that I'd move back home. I don't get her sometimes. I don't either. Summer's all right. to run to a meeting. Yeah. Enjoy a new apartment. Did you get them in? Yeah. Uh, more news from Nashad. Oh my God, I completely forgot. Today's the day he proposed to me. Hello? 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 Nashad, hey? Aap kaun bol rahe? Nashad ko phone dena. Ji, ek minute. Hello? Hello, Nashad? Hello? Hello, Nashad? Nashad? नाशाद वो औरत कौन है? लीला मेरी जान। नाशाद मैं पूछ रही हूँ वो औरत कौन है? लीला मेरी जान। लीला। नाशाद तुम इतने गिर गए हो कि एक औरत को मेरे घर ले आए? लीला मेरी बात सुनो। मुझे कुछ नहीं सुना नाशाद। मुझे कुछ नहीं समझना। मेरी मेरी बात सुनो। Are you all right? Answer me. Were you eavesdropping on me? No, I just wanted to make sure you're okay. Look, are, are you okay? Are you okay?
Krishna? What are you doing here? I want you to come back home. Please. It's a bit late for that, Mom. Krishna, what's, what's wrong with you? Here I am, practically begging you. I don't want you to be around this woman anymore. This... this slut. You're such a hypocrite, Mom. Me? How dare you talk to me like that? You have no right to judge my morals. You don't get it, do you, Mom? Look, it's, it's not that you have a boyfriend. That's fine. I would have been happy for you. But, but trying to hide it from me to make yourself look good? Well, why the hell did you do that? Look, your, your stupid morality, you have one set for yourself and one for others. It makes me sick. That's... that's my son! How could you, Leela? Krishna, I can't stand to hurt your mom. Not after what I've been through. Do you know what it was like, Krishna? I lived with the stone placed firmly over my heart. For years, Nasha told me it was okay. That our marriage was what others aspired to. Difficult. Difficult to accept that my marriage was a lie. All the vows that I had sacred, Nasha had played fast and loose with. After what Nasha has put me through, I can't do that to another woman. Krishna. Couldn't we go back to being Chris and Miss Delvi again? Do you want to go back to being Mrs. Nashad Delvi? Leela, Leela, my Jan. I tell you how to tell you how to go back to the past few months. Not your face, not your face, not your face. I was thinking that I could take a breath in that air in that air. जो तुम्हें छोकर गुजरती है मैं तुम्हें कितना कुछ बताना चाहता हूं जान मैंने तुम्हारे लिए इतनी नजमें लिखी हैं कि पूरा दीवान भर गया बरामदे में बैठकर समंदर के फैलाव का नजारा करते हुए हर रोज मैं तुम्हारे लिए गीत लिखता था लेकिन अब अब बस तुम्हें देखना चाहता हूं कैसी हो लीला अरे भाई तुमने उस नए बॉयफ्रेंड के बारे में कुछ नहीं बताया उसके बारे में तुमने इतना लिखा इतना लिखा कि मुझे अब ऐसे महसूस होता है जैसे मैं उसे जानता हूँ। तुम जानती हो मैं यहाँ क्यों आया? उसे न जाने तुम्हें क्या हो गया था? लीला मैं डर गया था। लीला मैं तुम्हें कभी कोई दुख नहीं दे सकता हूँ, कभी नहीं। लीला, हे जान। Nashad sahab, today you will have to sing today. Thank you, Nahid sahib. Just for this thing, please forgive me. Nashad sahab, you can't do this with us. We are your fans. Oh, please, don't disappoint us. Nashad sahab, this is not complete in a small way. Please. Anisha ji, I'm not going to sing my song. I'm not going to sing my life. I'm going to be a good person. 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 Thank you for all of us. But please, don't give me a chance for singing. Please sing, Nashad Saab. Forgive me, maybe I'll have to meet you with you. Joy Acharya Ji, and it's entirely my pleasure. Don't give me a chance, Mrs. Chatterjee. Please, Nashad Saab, Ms. Chatterjee. The fact is, the guilt us expatriates feel about leaving our homeland is trumped by green. Green as in jealousy? 
No Nashad Saab. Green as in the color of money. The mighty dollar. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. shukriya. I'm NRI Zehniyat par Joya ke dilchas khayala sun raha hu. Joya, this is my wife, Leela. Delighted. I've heard so much about you from Chaitali. Her son Krishna's in your class, isn't he? Oh, oh, you know Krishna? Yes, I've seen him grow up. Krishna's only 18. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm so glad that Chris took your class, Leela. That boy is absolutely in love with you. Oh, hello, Jennifer, dear. Hi. You look marvelous. Thank you. Hello, Leela. Hi. I hope you're not upset with me. Why should I be upset with you? Oh, well, I took Nashad out for lunch the other day. I called your house. And he sounded terribly bored. I felt awful for the poor dear. He must have told you. Actually, he didn't. Oh, well. Lunch with Nashad was incredible. My tamam musiki. My tamam shairi. My sara fun. Leela ke liye. Aye, to gana gaiye na ap hamare liye. Ap vaki chahte hain ki main gaun. Thik hai. अरे जय सुना तुमने नाशा साहब हमारे लिए गाना गाएंगे। That's very good। तो आप यहाँ मेरे घर पर ही गाइए। क्या जरूरत होगा गाने के लिए? एक तांतुरा, एक तबला और maybe a guitar। Guitar? Chris, come here sir, come here। Chris बहुत अच्छी गिटार बजाता है। Krishna तो मेरे साथ बजाओगे? My name is Chris। you know, American kids. <laughs> you as a friend. I still do. My life was in a turmoil and, and Krishna just happened to be caught in it. Listen to yourself, Leela. You couldn't put a stop to it. There are a lot of things a mentor needs to do for his protege, but I'm just disgusted that you chose the path of Initiation into sex. Goodbye, Leela. Chaitali, I am going back to India with Nashad. But I couldn't leave without talking to you, explaining to you. Goodbye, Chaitali. Hold up. Hold up. I owe you an apology. I I messed up. I also wanted to thank you for summer 
for understanding. If you feel like it, I'd like you to stop by sometimes. Hmm? Hey, Mom. I cooked. You want to eat? Yeah, sure. Wow, this is the best spaghetti I've ever had. <laughs> Eat slow, Krishna. I'm, I'm proud of you. Want some pepper? Mm -hmm. How's Grandpa? Mm. He's not doing too well. Now that the semester is getting over, I might go. Leela is going back to India with Nashad right after his concert. Is, uh, is Leela, Mrs. Delvey, is she here? Chris, come in. You slept with my wife. She thinks very highly of you. You know how old Leela was when we got married? 21. And now it's what, 17, 18 years we've been together? Man and wife? She's grown up with me, become a part of me. You don't understand Leela. She's most delicate. She wants constant care, assurance. She needs to be nurtured. Underneath that tough exterior, she hides a lot of pain. That you've caused her. Sure. Some of it. She, she's not as fragile as you think, Mr. Delvey. Under that tough exterior hides a tough person. She had to become tough because of you. And yet, I'm her final support. Her bulwark against the world. You? You're the one who caused her all this pain. How can you just sit there? Chris, Leela's very content with me. Was she happy? Made for each other is not a fairy tale. It happens. Leela and I will always be together, whether you want it or not. Leela knows that, and I think so do you. In the flush of youth, you're willing it away, fighting a foregone certainty. Leela's life is in Bombay, with me. And we leave for India in a week. अपनी दमक खो बैठा था क्योंकि वह लीला लीला मैं देख रहा हूँ की तुम बदल गई हो क्योंकि मैं तुम्हारी हर बात में हावी नहीं भरती इसलिए नहीं लीला तुम एक आजाद ख्याल की औरत हो तुम्हें अपने शोर आजादी की बात कर रहे हो नाशाद इतने साल से मैं तुम्हारी हर बात मानती आ रही हूँ तुम्हारे इशारों पर नाचती रही हूँ लेकिन उस रात जब तुम उस औरत को मेरे घर ले आए मेरे सुहाग के बिस्तर की तोहन की नाशाद उस रात तुम्हें गलत हुई है वो वो औरत उस रात सिमरन थी और तुम इस कदर गुस्से में थी कि तुमने उसकी आवाज तक नहीं पहचानी सिमरन तुम्हारी भतीजी हाँ और और मुझे दुख इस बात का हुआ कि तुमने ऐसे सोचा कैसे कि मैं इतनी जलील हरकत कर सकता हूँ तो मेरी अर्धाग्नी हो आ... 
मुझे कुछ वक्त चाहिए ना साहब अकेले में तुमसे दूर नीला ये तुम क्या कह रही हो लीला तुम तुम मेरी जिंदगी हो तुम मेरी रोशनी हो और तुम मुझे अंधेरे में अच्छा मैं तुमसे बहुत प्यार करती हूँ मैं जानती हूँ तुम भी मुझसे बहुत प्यार करते हो तुम्हारे बारे में नहीं है नौशाद ये मेरे बारे में है मेरे लिए प्लीज लीला मैं वादा करता हूँ मेरे कदम अब कभी नहीं बहकेंगे बस मुझको खुद से दूर मत करो रूह के बन
Yeah, but I did it with mine. Good. Chris, forget about the occasion. Forget about all these people. Tap into your inner spirit. वैसे तो मैं पठान हूँ, लेकिन मेरी परवरिश दिल्ली में बहुत खूब बरखुदार शुक्रिया you brought me here an appropriate atmosphere to explain krishna please understand i love you leela krishna i can't be in your life and you know that I did something for you. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, oh, it's a joke. Look, it's a joke. Look. Don't freak out on me. Come on. Look. Look, 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 look. Look. It's a joke. Here, see? You give us the fight. I'd much rather give you my thumb. You're so selfless, Leela. I guess that's why everyone loves you. You're wrong, Krishna. Both of you. I'm not a creation of your making, or Nasha's. Your mother taught me one thing. I don't need anyone to validate me. I'm doing this for myself, Krishna. I'm tired of. living for others being a muse an inspiration i just want to live for myself i want to be just me hey what's up don't drink the water man yeah funny <laughs> Here. Remember good old America when you're among the, the savages. The Hari Krishna collection. <laughs> Very <laughs> funny. <laughs> what? You know what? Did you? Did I? Did you sleep with Leela? Miss Delavy? No, I didn't. See, really? What did I tell you, JC? Krishna? Coming. Oh, be right back, guys. Yeah. Really? He didn't. 
Here are both the tickets. Make sure the bags are checked all the way to Bombay. Mom, chill. Hi. Hi. Two? Could you make sure the bags are checked all the way to Bombay, please? Sure. Who else is traveling? Um, my mother. She's right over there. That's her ticket, and uh, that's mine. How do you say your name, Chris? It's Krishna. Krishna Gyan.